Hello, so today I'm gonna teach you how to set up Ubiquiti Nano Station M2. So for this you need to connect your PoE with the Ubiquiti Nano Station M2 and the LAN cable with your laptop or desktop. So first you need to go to the Ethernet setting choose network and sharing center so select on the ethernet you can see pro properties and then go into internet protocol version 4 sorry yep. so now as you can see it's obtaining IP automatically you can you should put a IP address that's matching or the sub uh, the, the numbers are matching with the IP of Ubiquiti Nano Station so the default IP of the Ubiquiti is 192.168.1.20 so we want IP of 192.168.1 you can keep any of those just be sure that you do not keep 1 and 20 because in some ubiquiti uh, the default IP is 1 it's 45% has 192.168.1.1 other 55% of ubiquiti uh, nano station have its IP 192.168.1.20 so you can keep other than that so in my case I'm gonna keep 100 so subnet mask you need to keep any of those I mean uh, 255.255.255.255.0 you can have a default gateway or you can leave it as it is now it I am having the DNS server of uh, the Google so uh, we can leave it as it is now let's uh, go with the Firefox so 192.168.1.20 so now you can see there's a warning so you can uh, use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge any of those will s show this message so you need to click on advance and accept and accept the risk and continue right so now we get to the official page of ubiquiti nano station m2 the default username is UBNT and the password is UBNT as well. Now you can s select the country and then have this checkbox clicked so that you can log in. The first thing you need to do is click on the system yeah you can change the device name and you can change the username of administrator and password as well I recommend you to change the password so I am keeping my password you can keep your own password as you want and then you can just change it now so we can go to the network so it's static you can change it uh, if you know the IP address or if you know almost um, I mean all the network IPs in your home connection or office connection you can change it or keep the uh, IP address static but uh, if you do not know you can just 
keep it in DHCP so that it can take the IP address of your ISP internet service provider now so you can change the IP address for your ubiquiti but now I'm not gonna change it so I just want to show you right so we just change it so by default it's a station now you need to make it access point so I'll be having a different video on AP repeater and the station now we are making a access point so you can keep your SSID so I'm gonna keep my SSID as BGHA so I have um, different uh, uh, network SSIDs so for this I'm gonna keep BGHA now I would recommend you to have uh, 20 MHz megahertz for the channel width just because like uh, you can keep 40 or 20 or you can keep auto but I would recommend 20 because uh, 40 works with laptops desktops or the rece Wi-Fi receivers, but it won't be working with the smartphones or mobile phones So I would recommend 20 Now as you can see it's 28 dBm so it's like the length of um, the ubiquiti nano station its maximum uh, area covered is three miles so i do not have uh, three miles so i would uh, just decrease it maybe about 20 yep you can always have this strength output power increase and decrease so now i would also tell you something like if you keep the country code United States or if you select in United States as a country of your uh, I mean when you select or log in you can get the output power up to 28 or some time like if you select different countries uh, so the power shall be 13 12 depending upon the countries right so if you want maximum uh, length so you can select United States which I got to know when I was setting up right now you need to keep your security that's WPA2 I'm gonna keep my password so you can keep your own password all right so now I'm gonna change it now the main thing for the AP to be set up is you need to click on this icon so we, you can see air max is enabled so now you need to uncheck it okay this is most important part to make an AP working so after all these changes we can just click on apply and then it takes few seconds almost 10 to 20 seconds to set up all its new settings for the AP and your AP is ready to use so now you need to keep uh, from the PoE the power supply land to the ISP so that it works thank you thank you for watching my video please like subscribe for f more videos on AP AP repeaters and more thank you